Welcome to How To Pam. Let's talk Linux, the channel that promotes professional computing with free open source software, and we're helping FOSS users find the answers. This video is about how you can use LibriCAD to do more than just draw lines and put dimensions in. You can actually draw anything you want in LibriCAD and it's very convenient for that because it has all the tools necessary for drawing precise structures. As you can see here, I have a drawing of a padlock that I will use on one of the thumbnails I construct. But I built this padlock in LibriCAD and I will show you how to take that from LibriCAD and put it into the GNU image editing application or GIMP and finish it off in there. And after that, I will show you how you can also take a DXF drawing file or a DWG from LibriCAD and import it into the image editing program Inkscape. So let's get started here. The first thing we're going to do is you'll notice that I have this padlock drawn here and I've only used one layer because it's a simple structure. Okay, there's the default layer which I did not use and here I have a second layer in black. Now if I export this as an image, it will only export from this line here at the bottom to this line here at the top and that's so close to my drawing that it may even make the top of this arc flat. So in order to protect my drawing of the padlock here, I should actually put a border around it, a rectangle, and I could just click anywhere here and then draw my rectangle around there like that. And now when I export it, it will actually export everything inside the rectangle, including the black lines of the rectangle. So let's go ahead and export that. Let's go to file and let's go to export. Now if we're going to work on this in GIMP, we could do it as a PNG image or even a PDF file, but we're going to actually use an SVG file because that has a transparent background and that is very handy. However, if you don't believe you need a transparent background, then you can go ahead and export it in a PNG or a PDF file. So let's choose this option here. And of course there are some options here, but the default is fine for now. So we'll just choose that. And here is where we're going to put that. Let's put that on the desktop for now. And let's give it a name. We'll call it padlock. And let's save that there. Here it is here. Okay, so let's just move this out of the way and let's bring down the GNU image editing application and let's go ahead and open up that file. It says we can open here and if we go to the desktop here we have padlock there. You see it's right there and we'll bring it in with these dimensions and there we go. Okay, now that looks a little bit funky not quite what we had in mind there. However, we can straighten that out, I guess, if we want to. What we can do here is go to image and scale that image. And it says the width looked a little bit too wide. So let's, let's go down to about 400 on the width. Let's break this chain here. And now let's put it at 400 in the width. Leave the height where it's at there, much better. It's pretty close there to what I want. Okay, so now that we have it in here, what was the purpose of bringing it in? Well, we're going to actually color this up here and make it look a little bit more presentable as an image for the thumbnail we're making. So to do that, let's expand this image first. It tells us here we're at 100%. Let's go with 200%. Now we can see bigger lines here. Now let's decide on what color we want our lock. If we want to make our lock kind of a steel color, we need kind of a steel gray. That's getting closer, okay? So let's take that color. Now let's take our wand here, our magic wand, and let's click on the border here. There, you see how the border's all highlighted there? I'll expand this out here, there you can see that the border is highlighted out and we expanded it to 200% so that the border is large enough to work on. 
Now, if I go ahead and take the paint bucket, I can paint those lines, the border. Click in the border and paint that. There you go. Now we could go to select none. Okay. Now, this border here also needs to be changed. So let's take the select tool. Let's get that border. Let's go with the paint and paint that. There we go. Okay. And then let's deselect. And just for demonstration purposes, let's, let's use orange for the lock body. And we can paint this down here with orange. But we should select that first. We're inside there now. Now let's take the paint bucket. There we go. Okay. Let's deselect that. Now the, this here section could be gray. This here inside should be a little darker. Let's take something here and let's select this and let's go with the bucket, paint bucket, and let's go like that. Let's deselect, select none. Now, we can finish off this here steel hoop with, just for demonstration purposes, a little bit of a different color so you can see. You'd probably want both colors the same. Let's take this and let's select in between the borders there and let's click in there and let's select none. Select in here, paint bucket in there. Okay, select none. Let's go and put it back at 100%. There you go. Okay, so you can see here how we were able to design this lock in LibriCAD, export it as an SVG or a CAM file and import it into GNU image editing application and we can work on it in there. Wonderful place to finish off your drawings. Now for this we would just export it out as probably a PNG because PNGs will keep the transparency in the background. Okay and export that and there we go. Okay so we can get this out of the way. We could look at our PNG here and there you go. Okay, there are many things you can do with that. You can work on the lines. When you export this file from LibriCAD and import it into GIMP, you will be able to work on the lines as borders. You could even erase the lines if you want to delete them. Or you could change the colors and stuff as you've seen. So that's a terrific thing. One thing I should mention that you noticed how it selected everything. And sometimes when you go to work on it, in GNU image editing application, you don't want the lines all joined because these were drawn with rectangles. So then you would want to split or explode and you could highlight the rectangle lines and then you can go to explode here. Now you noticed when I clicked on that rectangle, it's all one piece. But if I explode that, now I click on it and it's individual pieces. You see that? So if you're having trouble working on your drawing when you import it into a GNU image editing application, go ahead and explode it in LibriCAD so that the lines are all individual and you can work on them there. That will show you what can happen when you use GNU image editing application to finish off your LibriCAD drawings. The other thing you can do is you can export this in the form of a DXF file or a drawing file. We could save this on the desktop as padlock and we save that. There it is there. Now let's go and have a look at that. You can see that it is a DXF vector image. So let's bring down Inkscape. Now let's import that into Inkscape. This is the drawing, the DXF, and we will bring that in right there into Inkscape. Again, you could mess with these settings a bit, but for now, we'll just leave it at the default. Let's say OK to that. And there's some more settings here. SVG, because it probably wants to change that into an SVG. But the purpose of this is showing you that Inkscape will import your DXF files from LibriCAD. And here it is here. Now that's not, let's expand this. That's kind of off of our drawing here, but that's OK. We can move this around a bit. And again, we have a size issue here. Again, we, we can get it 
where we would like it to be. So it asked us what size to bring it in and we just checked the default, but maybe next time you'll want to adjust some of those settings before you import. That looks pretty good there. Uh, the lines are pale green, you cannot really see them, but I will show you the purpose of bringing this in, this DXF file in from LibriCAD, is to show you that we can actually work on it to finish it off here as well. Here is the paint bucket. Let's take a paint bucket. Let's take some orange here. And let's go in the bottom here. And there you go. Okay. Let's take a darker color for the keyhole. Let's take our paint bucket. Let's take a steel color here. And what we'll color in there. So here we're able to work on our lock file again. And you can do much more with Inkscape, of course, once you get familiar with the application. Take our paint can here and right there, okay? So there you see, we have it. We've, we've done the same thing in Inkscape as we did in GNU image editing application, except with Inkscape, we import a DXF file. In GNU image editing application, we had to go ahead and bring in the SVG or CAM file because GIMP cannot read DXF files. Okay, let's export this as a PNG image. And over here, it's giving us a bunch of settings and we can go ahead and export as, and let's put it back on the desktop. We already have one there from GIMP, so let's put it padlock two and let's move that out there. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And there you are there. There is the one that we did in Inkscape. And here is the one that we did in GNU image editing application. Okay, you'll notice the green borders here and the gray borders here. So you can do much more, but this video was to let you know that you can work with your LibriCAD drawings in GIMP, GNU image editing application, as well as Inkscape. And that will give you a little more freedom for customizing your images that you're going to use on certain other applications. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And now you have the freedom to use your LibriCAD drawing in other image editing programs. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like, you could communicate with us on Twitter at, at HowToPam at Twitter. So thanks for watching this video tutorial by HowToPam. Let's talk Linux, professional computing with free open source software. And we're helping FOSS users find the answers.